So, uh, Dr. Raman, today you have implanted the first tube penile prosthesis in India. So, would you like to share your experience with us? So, basically, sir, uh, overall, uh, the product is quite good. And in fact, uh, one of the classes in which we taught our urology residents, we mentioned tube at that time because I had the experience of uh, being an assistant. I didn't put it myself earlier, but in Europe, we had a few cases of tube. So, I knew about the brand already. Okay. Uh, Though overall, uh, it is a good implant. Uh, there were a few things which I did not know about it at that time. Uh, I was a little worried about a few points also while we were putting it. But then, of course, uh, I would like to share the feedback with you. One is that, uh, of course, the build quality is very good, especially the uh, anterior part, because, you know, many of the times the implants, they're more rounded and less conical. So uh, in certain patients where, you know, the distal part of the corpora is a little narrower i think this can be a very good advantage so i really appreciate the fact that it is a little more conical than uh, than round uh, the other thing i really appreciated in this was that uh, you know comparing to other uh, uh, companies sometimes their wires are a little on the shorter side so this has a wire in the entire length this is a silver wire if you know our uh, uh, people would like to know and this is quite a thick wire as i can see comparing it with other products so this is this is uh, showing its uh, quality as such and that makes it bendable in almost any direction and from any point of time. Right. Uh, I was a little worried when I met you first, you know, that this part, the, the proximal part is a little too flabby. So I thought that maybe, you know, if we put it and this keeps wavering like that, then sometimes we may have issues of patients, you know, complaining that the implant is a little mobile. But I think that has been handled well by the, uh, by the matte finish of the outer layer. So it's not hydrophilic. I would really appreciate if it was, but even if it's not, I think it, the uh, the problem that I sometimes face with the malleable implants is that, you know, if they are too glossy and if they don't hold well to the tissue, sometimes they would just roll over while the patient is trying to bend. Right. So I think from that perspective, it should make a good impact. Uh, but luckily in the Indian penises where the overall length of the implant varies from say about 17 centimeters to about 23, 24 centimeters. Uh, this would not be a problem because this is a way too extra and today when we did this implant today it was about 20 centimeters so we could just leave only four uh, outer rings right. it was easy to cut which was again good uh, i liked the experience but i was a little worried about this part being extra and a little uh, too uh, flexible i think that was taken care of yes. so at least on the indian population i feel that you know it will not bother us too much right. Uh, apart from that, I was also very happy to know that, you know, this can take the axial weight of about 1.5 kgs, yeah. at least just in one rod, right. which is usually for both the process together. This is quite good. I really like the rigidity of the implant. Right. Overall, there was no problem in placing the implant, except for the fact that, you know, when you have a wire in the entire length, then when you are already fixated in the proximal part, then putting the distal one becomes a little more difficult because you know, uh, this, if it's bent, then it will try and perforate the other side or sometimes can cause more crossovers. So I would really advise, uh, you know, those uh, implantologists who have not done a lot of cases to always put a dilator on the other side in the other cylinder so that at least it, there is no crossover happening and there's a support and you know where you're going with this because if it is bent and, you know, in that entire process, you have to put in a lot of uh, pressure also and you might end up uh, with this kind of a conical tip which is a little more conical than round you might end up in sometimes injuring uh, the other side or having a crossover uh, so it, uh, just for the information of people that it comes in two uh, rear tips which is one and 1 1.5 yeah. uh, so i think you have a flexible margin if your if your sizing has been pretty much accurate which i am sure all the other implant all just would uh, prefer to use a sizer or something for that. So I would say it's an overall good experience. The build quality appears good. And uh, I just hope that the case that we've done today, let's have the prayers of everyone that sure. uh, the case goes well. Yeah. And you know, this uh, is a good success in the future. Sure, sure. Uh, Dr. Raman, uh, thank you so much for your honest feedback. Really appreciate it. And uh, any word for your uh, uh, fellow uh, urologists who are also doing similar implants? So I'm sure they are, of course, they are doing a very good job because most implantologists, they become, uh, you know, used to doing it only after a certain number of cases. So, of course, uh, it takes a lot of finesse to reach uh, to a level where they're doing a lot of implants. And all those who are doing the implant, this is a good thing to try because uh, one, 
uh, there are certain benefits that is a very good conical tip which really reaches till the tip so you're not worried about that falling short sometimes you know uh, we are always worried about if we put something if we over dilate we may have a distal perforation so from that perspective you just can do it very casually especially from on the distal aspect the other good thing i appreciate is the the width of the wire it has been tested so many times so it becomes more reliable and uh, of course uh, the build quality and the rigidity i was really impressed by the rigidity of the implant uh, because I was not expect, expecting such a, a difference in the rigidity. Uh, having uh, tried most of the other implants, I think it was a, quite a good experience to put it. Just that you have to be careful while you are trying to, you know, put it in. Uh, try and use uh, maybe another dilator. Initially, in a, initial few cases, mm -hmm. because this is a new implant, we don't really know initially, you know, what kind of a spinal. Uh, pre uh, level pressure you will need so that motor reflex will take a little time to build and it's always better to put in something as a safeguard on the opposite corporal side when you're putting it but i i like the experience and i wish you all the best uh, that we have more such implants in the country and more patients get benefited sure thank you so much dr raman